Indian uh, team coach Ravi Shastri spoke to the media and I asked him if he relates to the success of this youth brigade and how did he help transform Rishabh Pant. Let's start the show with Ravi Shastri's thoughts. I can relate to it because at 21, 22, 23, I had similar success. I had hundreds overseas, so I can relate to what these guys have done. I think one quality that comes is you can never mistake or take away the exuberance of youth or the fearlessness. You know, when you're young, when you don't carry baggage, you're not afraid. You're, it's only when the baggage comes in, when you become known quantity and the pressures from the outside come in that you have to perform all the time. That's when life starts, as it started with Rishabh Pant on this trip. Uh, let me address him first. Yes, after the IPL, he came on, he came with a lot of baggage which showed in his size, and he had to lose that baggage, which he did. And he worked his backside off to lose it. And I tell you, he has trained harder than anyone in the last two months. And the results are not just for him to see, it's for the world to see. When you have a naturally brilliant match winner of his ability, you know, playing to potential, it's no greater sight in cricket. I think in the last two months, what he's done, to win matches for India, it, it, you know, there'll be players who won't do it in a lifetime and would have never done it in a lifetime. Washington Sundar, if I have to say, un, unbelievable composure and temperament. I mean, for someone who, yes, at under 19 age, he was an opening batsman. But to see that kind of body language and unfazed by the best bowlers in the world in, in the toughest situations, as in Brisbane, as in Chennai, you know, was unreal. Well, time for me to get my guests into the show. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining me on the broadcast. Uh, Charu, coming to you, Ravi Shastri has said that it's the exuberance of the youth, which is why uh, they performed so brilliantly at the world stage and not having baggage. What do you pin it to? Well, you can't uh, uh, fault Shastri for saying what he did. Yes, exuberance is certainly one reason. May I also add another reason? Exposure. And I think uh, a lot of cricketers from India and other parts of the world now uh, start getting exposed very early to overseas tours as India A and all sorts of other tours. So it's not just the exuberance, which of course youth almost always have. But sometimes, of course, in India, you tend to be more, mm -hmm. should we say, respectful of authority than, uh, than in other nations. But and therefore you lose a bit of your exuberance but it's the exposure and that has led to an emo enormous amount of self-confidence so that confidence is now translating onto the pitch of course much more so or more easily so under home conditions but also in overseas conditions which is the whole concept of exposure so that i think has been a major turning point and lots of indian youngsters uh, fearlessly performing at the international stage Andrew, let me ask you the difference between the English youth and the Indian youth. Uh, even they are very much exposed these days. They play cricket across the globe. What really would you say uh, is the difference between these two sides? Well, it's a good question. I mean, when it comes to the youth factor, actually, England have started to go down that route very, very deliberately in their test team in particular. You know, you look at the guys like uh, Ollie Pope and, and Don Bess, who obviously had a tough time, but... Uh, you know, only last year in South Africa, those guys were aged 20, 21, 22 and were winning a series in South Africa in similar sort of exuberant fashion. So I think the big difference in this in this tour is just the complete unfamiliarity with the conditions, which mm -hmm. is not the same thing as complaining about the conditions. And I think England well, needs to steer away from the suggestion of England. Uh, I think that the spinning conditions have been unfair. I don't think they've been unfair. They've just been really, really, really tough for players to to get to grips with on their first visit. But, you know... Mm -hmm. They will come again, and I, I bet you a lot of these guys will have learned an awful lot from the challenge that they faced on a really tough tour. So when it comes to exposure, yep, England have, England are doing similar, uh, and Ollie Pope in particular, I think he's going to be a superstar for England as he grows into his game. But um, yeah, they've got a little way to go. They were missing Sam Curran as well, who's another guy who right. obviously India fans know all about. He was he had to fly home and couldn't fly back because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he's a, he's the sort of guy who you know we saw in the IPL. He he can turn it on when he's put on the big stage. So I do think I do think it's not exclusively to India, mm -hmm. but you can't take anything away from what Rishabh and and Sundar did in in the last test. Um, they they were simply magnificent. and They took the game away. 
Yeah, interesting you spoke about Sam Curran. We saw him in the last IPL, what he's capable of. He'll be once again seen in the limited overs leg of the series. Daljit Singh, coming to you, you have seen few generation of cricketers. But what is it that uh, makes this generation of cricketers fearless and whenever they, they are given the opportunity, they are just ready to grab it with both hands? I think the opportunities are much more. The game is very rewarding. Earlier, people played and looked for jobs in corporate or banks or railways. But now the cricket, cricket is offering careers so very rewarding. And I think the present generation is fitter, more enterprising. We oldies, you know, we tend to start in my time. No, no, no. I think the present times are wonderful. The young people are doing wonderfully well. They entertain more. The game is more rewarding. All, all credit to them. All credit to them.